Uh, sorry. Just caught me pondering some of the bigger, some of the bigger issues that face us as a global society because it's important for all of us. So I'm just getting the, just getting this lined up properly. I think it's important for all of us to do our bit. So I just just took a few moments then to think about some of the some of the bigger issues we need to tackle in the world today, like single-use plastic and uh, zero waste butchery. And fucking little bastards. Anyway, I thought I'd give you a quick uh, mallet update. As you can see, different location, different lo carpentry, carpentry location. I like to do my carpentry in different areas because I think that comes across in the woodwork. Um, I think the spirit of each location I go to is reflected in the output. So here, come on, come over. Let me beckon you with my carpenter square. Here we are. Here we are. In the wilds. Here we are. In forward operating base planer. Fire base planer. Uh, it's called that because if you look, we are quite far away from the technical areas that I usually use. I don't know if you, you're picking that up. Uh, you know, technical area, the activity area, obviously the administration area. Uh, we're, we're literally out here, right out here in bandit country, in Firebase Planer, the Kandahar of carpentry. So, yeah, uh, here we are, Firebase Planer. Not named after the uh, uh, actor Nigel Planer, best known for his work in um, Younger Ones. Also, some comedy spin off singles such as uh, There's a Hole in My Shoe. And it's letting in water, letting in water. So yeah, it's not named after Nigel Planer, but in fact, this machine here, which actually isn't technically a planer, that's so random. Uh, it's actually a planer thicknesser. Um, I won't bother you with the difference between a planer and a thicknesser because I don't really know the difference. So I do know this is a planer thicknesser rather than a planer. I think it's something to do with where the blade is. So see the blade here is. Uh, comes down, or as a planer, the blade, blade, is there. Uh, also, planers seem to be cheaper. Anyway, uh, so here we are. We're gonna we're gonna do some um, thicknessing. Very exciting. Now it's gonna be loud. Uh, you'll notice I've got my hair in the top knot. Uh, n not for fashion, no. I mean, it might look really good, but this is health and safety because you don't want to operate any kind of uh, power tools with long hair in case you get sucked into the machinery because it's, uh, I've seen it happen, it's really bad. Um, even if it's not dangerous stuff like milking cows as well because you wouldn't want to contaminate milk if you've got long hair, but this is purely a functional and health and safety thing rather than a fashion thing. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's do some thicknessing. Here we go. Here's two, or here's three parts of the head. We're going to try and get a uniform thickness and a perfectly flat plane in order for the, uh, the glue to adhere, uh, which will lead to the structural integrity needed of a mallet, which obviously hits things. Here we go. It's going to be loud. God, this is exciting. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I'm using a log uh, because it's flat, it's solid, um, and also um, it uh, represents my respect for the environment. Here we go. I'm going to use this as my push stick. Never put your hands into a thickness planer. This is a sash, piece of a sash window, which I'm using, A, because I can't be asking, I get my push stick, and B, because I think it's important to reflect the fact that um, nature not only feeds and clothes us, but shelters us, which is represented in the sash window. Here we go. Yeah, God. So we've uh, we've done all the safety checks. Um, we're gonna. I'm looking at uh, bringing this down to two centimeters. I'm gonna have a couple of runs through this. The wood is gonna go through here, and guided by the sash window. And there, it's gonna drop into there, where it's gonna be cushioned by the foliage. Here we go. Very exciting stuff. Which one will go first? I 
think it's always important as well to have the flatter side down. I think this is the flatter side. I wouldn't be able to know without using geometry, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to use my carpentry sense. Here we go, it's going to be loud. Watch out. Yeah, probably fuck those up, but there they are, look. Oh, that's what we call snipe, but don't worry, I can fix that in post-production. Uh, join us afterwards when I've uh, fixed it. Bye.